what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel my name is emily and today we are discussing disney college program conspiracy theories is disney trying to hide something with the disney college program is the disney college program truly the way that emily enchanted describes it out to be or is there something else going on today we will find out as we further discuss the disney college program and we get to the bottom of what it's actually like. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Emily and I did the Disney College program last year, Spring Advantage 2018. This thing, everything I'm about to say are all solely based on my own opinions. These have nothing to do with the Walt Disney Company. These do not reflect the opinions of the Walt Disney Company. These are solely based on my experience and my thoughts on the Disney College program. This video is heavily inspired by Shane Dawson and his conspiracy theory videos and is intended to be so, and all credit goes to Shane Dawson. So the first theory we're gonna talk about is Vista Way. There's always been a lot of rumors about Vista Way. Apparently Vista Way is the party complex. Vista Way is the place that you go to party to hook up with others. A place to do all of the crazy college shenanigans. Vista Way is the oldest complex that the DCP offers, which means it has been rumored to be the dirtiest and the grossest complex. Everything is broken, the kitchen doesn't work, nobody wants to live in Vista Way anymore. In fact, when most people apply for the Disney College program, they all put Vista Way last. I know I sure did. I knew no matter where I lived, no matter how many bunk beds I had to have, it was not going to be in Vista Way. A lot of the rumors about Vista Way started when the popular YouTuber Swoozy made videos about being a Disney employee. We were on the monorail, and there was a little girl standing by the door, and I kind of twitched and put my hand out, and I was like, Madam, please stand clear of the door. He made Vista Way seem like the party central, and how he tried to sneak in so many times to see the girls, to be at the parties. Remember how I left House of Blues early and went back to Vista Way? Yeah. Well, uh, I was walking to my room and I kind of ran into Ashley and we ended up making out. And that's where the term Vista Way comes from, is from his videos. But I always hear people saying Vista Way and they always say it like that. Because of that, I believe it's led many people to think that Vista Way is the place to be. Vista Way is party central. The spot that is hot, all right, Vista Way. Now, before I started my Disney College program, I did all my research. I thought the same thing. Whenever I heard of people living in Vista Way, I always looked at them with a slight pity in my eye and said, I'm so sorry. I rarely ever was found to be in Vista Way until today. Today, I decided that we are going to go on site to Vista Way and we are going to see where the parties are, see what's popping, see how crazy it really is. Today, we're gonna get to the bottom of it. And today, I'm taking you guys along with me to Vista Way. Let's go. All right, you guys, I'm currently in my car and about to head over to Vista Way. Yay, yay, yay. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. I'm going alone. One of my good friends, Brent, that I met over my Disney College program was so nice to offer to let me come to her Vista Way apartment and check it out for myself. Let's go on in. Hey, hey guys, guys. <laughs> what's up? I am in Vista Way right now. And I'm here in my good friend Brent's apartment. She was actually my audition buddy. We went to the audition together. We did our CP together last year and now she's back again. So these are all her roommates slash friends and she was so nice to let me come into her Vista Way apartment. My first question for all of you who now live here, you all moved in about a week ago. My first question is, how do you like Vista Way so far? Anyone can <laughs> The oh, rent is really, really cheap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Now we have more money to spend. How much do you pay a month? One hundred and nine. Nine. Yeah. nine dollars. Yeah. For <laughs> six people. Yeah. Six people. Yeah. Three bedrooms. We're the cheapest. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Um, so it's two people per room. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Um, and was it clean? Was everything working? Like, did you have any problems? Yeah, I'd say like when we came in, like everything was really clean. We have hardwood floors now because a lot of Vista Way's apartments have been renovated recently. And this, this isn't a couch cover. This is the actual couch. Great couches. It's, it's not the like Disney yeah. DCP face font anymore. <laughs> I mean, some are, I guess, but yeah, this one know. isn't. Do you notice a lot of parties? Do you see a lot of people like getting lit all the time? No, no. <laughs> it's like, it's <laughs> Yeah, I did the CP last time with her when she did her CP and I actually lived in Vista Way at the time That was my last choice. I did not want to live here because of these rumors I lived here and I loved it so much that like as I was finding new roommates for this current program that I just started We have to live in Vista like it needs to be our first choice 
Uh, the location's the best. It's really clean. We have two fridges. There's no bunk beds. So I like pretty much said that I was gonna put this away as my first choice, no matter what, because I love it that much. That is just, that's appalling to right? me. All of you guys, did you hear these rumors before your Disney college program? Were you hesitant about this away? Not for sure. It wasn't I, my first no, choice. I put it as my first choice because it's the main bus hub. So if you're yeah, not structured, true. if you're not, if you don't have a car down here, like it's a lot easier. Now that we've talked about this away, they've told you what they thought about it. It's time for me to actually show you what it's really like. <laughs> I walked into their apartment and immediately it was so much nicer than my Chatham apartment. Mine was like 103, 104, I don't even remember per week. Theirs is 109, so like for two people per room and three bedrooms and a really huge living room and just a nicer area, <laughs> that's kind of a good deal. So um, let's go, let's go explore. Hey! Oh my gosh, hi! Welcome to Vista! Yay! Wow, look at this! They're so happy and laughing <laughs> and playing cards hi. and... Oh, wow! Welcome to our living room. This is so nice. Please Very show nice. me around. Look at these. Look at this. Over here we've got one fridge. Okay. If you look over there, we've got another. Oh my god. Our TV stand. Look at this window. Now, did you have six chairs? We did not have six chairs. Oh, she's so cute. It's not much, but it is enough. Oh, please ignore the burner. <laughs> Everything works. Everything is fine. Yep. White painted cabinets. Very aesthetic. Yes. A working dishwasher. Amazing. Yes. And this nice, nice little organizer on the side, so we all have a shelf. So cute. So, yeah. Big walk-in closet. Here's your little vanity, the classic. The classic. This is your like classic DCP, DCP room with like the vanity, the letters, the ears. This so, is amazing. We've got a lot of lights. I freaking um, love it. Big fans. That is so cute. Uh, yeah. Oh, Chip and Dale. Uh -huh. I have a lot of You have the stuff. pizza pillow. I want this so bad. <laughs> we have our tapestry blocking our windows to keep out some of the light. And look at the hardwood, hardwood floors. floors. We had one nightstand for three people in ours. Vista Way has two for two people. Much the same. Walk in. <laughs> oh, this cool. Hey, hello. 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 Where's your tapestry from? Redbubble. Just You're kidding. kidding. Matching. Oh, because this is the master bedroom, we have the attached bathroom. Oh, okay. So we have a sink out here and some shelves, and then in there we have a shower and a toilet and another sink. Four people do have to share one bathroom over there. Yeah. And then the other okay. two we get. We get our own bathroom. But y'all pay the same, like nothing yeah. changes. Yeah. Yeah. How did you pick who got master? Bren got here first. <laughs> yeah, he I, did I went the master. was a non-master. <laughs> got here second, and I was like, and she was like, oh, I didn't want it, you can have it. And I was like, Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I love everybody. In yeah, our we've all house. really gotten along so well. So, final thoughts. What do you guys think about Vista Way? We love Vista Way. The majority of people I saw walking around were indeed people in their work costumes coming home from work and going back to their apartments. Nothing really crazy was going on. I feel like now I know so much more about Vista Way than I ever even knew possible. In some weird way, I think if I were to do another Disney college program, I might even want to live in Vista Way. After all, maybe Vista Way really does slay. The second theory we are going to talk about today is the jobs in the Disney college program. Your jobs, or what they like to call your roles, are rumored to be awful. Most people say that they absolutely hated their job in the Disney college program. All they did was clean toilets, serve food. It was essentially the same as working at a McDonald's or being a janitor. And people want to know, is the program really worth it if your job is horrible? Now, I was very fortunate that I had my dream job on the Disney college program, my absolute dream role. I was a character performer. I never had any issues with my role. I love my role very, very much. Now, when you do the Disney college program, you are here to work and so most people wonder are you actually working all the time do you actually have any free time the answer is yes you are working all the time the answer to how much free time you have really depends on you and how much time you make for free time yes there are going to be a lot of times that you are too tired to go to the parks but again it is up to you and what you make it although I was very fortunate in my job a lot of people I knew a lot of my friends unfortunately were not 
they were often placed in roles that they did not like. However, they have now finished the program and they are so glad they did. The program really helped them and it was 100% worth it. Today, we are going to be sitting down with someone who did the Disney College program last year, Spring Advantage 2018, and they were in parking. Now, parking is one of the roles that you can get on your Disney College program. You could be in charge of essentially guiding where people park, driving the trams, spilling at the back of the trams. If you would have asked me, I would have told you that parking was the job that I wanted the very least on my program. However, I have heard from many people that even though the role they got initially was not one that they expected, that their Disney College program turned out to be one of the best things that they have ever done. It was Disney World, it was a program that really changed their life for the better, even if their job wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Because it might not have been, but there was so much more to the program than just their job that it was definitely worth doing. Let's go sit down with Sammy and see what she had to say about parking. Hey guys, so I'm currently with Sammy here. Sammy was on my Disney College program. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your role, Sammy? Well, you know, I guess we should start from the beginning. Right. First, I did parking. Perks, you get to drive the tram and you get to spiel which is super fun and i mean it can be boring if you make it boring but if you want to make it fun you make it fun you get a lot of breaks like 15 minute breaks but like all the time like every two hours one hour and a half you're also standing in a parking lot for an hour and a half to two hours sometimes three if they forget your break which is never fun it's super hot in the summer i'd love to know when you first got your itinerary and it said parking how did it make you feel horrible <laughs> Terrible. Okay. I well, because I was supposed to be attractions, mm -hmm. which was wonderful. Mm -hmm. It was like the number one thing I wanted. I was like, what's Auto Plaza? So I started like typing it in on Facebook and stuff. And then I found out, and everyone was just saying like terrible things about this. So then when I saw that, I was devastated. Cried for like two days, I think. And Auto Plaza is different than the parking lot. So that is where you go in, like when you're going to the park as a guest, mm -hmm. and you take their money and all that good stuff, and you give them their like parking ticket for the day. So by the end of your program, how did you feel about parking? I feel a lot of things. Loved it. Loved my CP. Wouldn't change it. Met the most amazing people. Like people, like you know, I'm gonna be in one of their weddings. Like those kind of friends. Like amazing friendships. The leaders were great. The coordinators were great. Got really close to all of them. The job itself couldn't have done it for another six months, but for a CP, like four months, six months, it's it's not any different than any outdoor attraction role or like outdoor vending or something like that. Like if you're working at a theme park, you're gonna be outside, and that was the only part that was like bad about it anyway. Was just that you're in like I worked the entire summer, so it was so hot. So it really is what you make of it, and I wouldn't change it. And I think like the connections I made are like what matter. But as far as like the role of parking, like I wouldn't want to keep doing it. After. Right, like you wouldn't go full time parking up, but you're not. I didn't hate it. Yes, you didn't hate yeah. it. So now you're at Disney and mm -hmm. you're a part time photo pass. So obviously, mm -hmm. Disney didn't ruin the magic for no. you. It didn't. No. Your role being in parking, it made you still want to work for Disney. Yes, if not like more so, you know, because it's like you get a little taste of what you could do and like how you can spend it. For me, like this was my doorstep into what I want to do with the company, mm -hmm. and so like I would have taken anything that kept me here. I would have stayed in the parking lot longer if I had needed to. Yeah. You don't let people tell you it sucks because it doesn't suck. There's amazing people there, and there's always something worse. So. And there you have it, folks. I guess it looks like it doesn't really matter what job you have on your DCP, especially if you wanna work with the Walt Disney Company in your future, the Disney College program is a great way to get in with the company. No matter what role, you can always start small and work up. The Disney College program is still worth it. Another popular conspiracy is that the Disney College program buses catch on fire. They are very harmful to you and your health and they often make you late to work. That the buses are unreliable and that you must have a car in order for your Disney College program to be successful. This is a very heavy theory that I am not able to personally prove true or false because I never rode the buses on my Disney College program. I did indeed bring a car down with me. We shipped my car here to Florida. If you do not bring your car here in Florida, there is a bus system that will 
take you to and from the parks, to and from the resorts, any location that you may be working, there is a bus for it. The buses are specifically meant for you to get to your job and they're also meant for you to go to the parks. There is also a bus, I believe, to go to Walmart slash Publix so you can go to the grocery store. The buses are a really big relief if you don't bring your car on the Disney College program. Not to mention you will probably have roommates and if you get along with your roommates, they often will offer to take you places as well. So is it possible to do the Disney College program without a car? Yes, but is it reliable? Are the buses really reliable? During my Disney College program, I heard about one of the buses catching on fire in front of none other than Vista Way. During my Disney College program, we used a company called Transtar that provided all of the buses for the Disney cast members. However, since then, they have changed the bus company to a company called Transdev, and it's thought that that company is way more reliable and the college program students tend to enjoy this bus system a lot better but don't take it from me. Today, we are going to be sitting down with someone who did the Disney College program and did not have a car with them. Therefore, they were forced to take the bus wherever they went. We are going to be sitting down with Lauren and we are gonna ask her all of the juicy questions about the bus system. See if she really enjoyed it. Did she ever catch on fire while she was in the bus? Was she ever late to work because of the buses? This is what we are going to find out. Let's go. Hey guys, so now we are here with Lauren over here. Now Lauren did the Disney College program, Spring Advantage 2018, just like me. She came here without a car. Was there a reason you didn't have a car down here? So I'm from Boston, mm -hmm. um, which is definitely a hike from Florida. The car I have back at home is our family's third car. So my sister shares that with me. I wasn't able to bring that down to Florida with me because she needs to get to college and whatnot. And I had heard so many bad things about Trendstar like when I first started. They're always late, the buses don't show up, they catch on fire. I don't think I got a single point from being late due to Trendstar on my CP. I was very good about making sure I was on a bus that was early enough to get me there on time. And there definitely were times in the morning where if I felt a bus was not going to get me there before my shift, I would just call a Lyft or an Uber. My biggest question for you, did the bus ever catch on fire while you were in it? Not while I was in it. However, this was a couple months into our CP. One of the buses did catch on fire and explode in the middle of the night at Vista, but I never firsthand experienced any of those. Did you ever feel unsafe on these buses? Was it ever sketchy to you? Maybe getting on the bus and the bus stop, whatever? Um, no, it was never sketchy or anything. No one outside of the college program is allowed on these buses. Right, do you have to show your ID when you get on the bus? Yes. When you get on the bus, you have to have a housing ID or they will not let you on. And did not having a car negatively impact your CP? You know, it definitely made a few things more challenging, like runs to the grocery store, um, that was a struggle at times. And also, it's just a convenience factor, really. It was manageable. I got everything I needed to get done, done. Side question for those of you who take the bus. Yeah. Do you like the bus? Is it awful? Does it break down? Does it catch on fire? Uh, well, it's I've not had, great. Yeah, I had a breakdown <laughs> like two days ago, or yesterday, two days ago, out on the side of a highway. It depends yeah. on the bus route, too. So like, if you have a shift, how early should you leave before to get, I, if you're taking the bus? I would say, an hour. An hour. An hour. An hour. An hour. So if, my if, you, if there's like between two buses, take the earlier yeah. bus. Oh, don't take the later bus. Don't think shift. you can make it because if that bus is late, like you're out. Hopefully that gives you a little bit more of an insight into what the bus system is truly like on the Disney College program. In conclusion, yes, having a car opens up more opportunity for you. If you can bring your car, definitely do. But if you don't, it's not the end of the world. There's free transportation, Uber and Lyft are magical things, and worst comes to worst, you just steal your roommate's car and you go where you gotta go. The last conspiracy we are going to be talking about today is the application process. Some think that the application process is completely random. They completely randomly pick your application. It is also thought that you must use keywords when applying to the Disney College program. These keywords include words from the job descriptions of all of the Disney College program roles available to you that should be added into your work experience on your initial application. If you use these keywords, then and only then will your application be processed and send you on to the web-based interview. Now, when I applied to the Disney College program, 
I thought the same thing. I believed the myths. I used keywords in my application and it passed on right away. I was very fortunate and I got into the Disney College program on my first try. Do I think it was random? No, I don't think so. The recruiters oftentimes say that the process is not random and I believe them. I believe that Disney knows what they're doing and I don't think they would leave it up to a randomized generator. Think about it. What qualifies as a keyword? Is it the job description from all the roles? Keywords such as working well with others, working well in high temperature, or are the keywords something about the four keys using safety, courtesy, efficiency, and and show. How would you know what the four keys are? How would you have displayed the four keys when you haven't even worked at Disney World yet? The whole point of your training when you get down here is to teach you about the four keys. So why would they require that you already know about them? Today, I decided that I was going to apply for the Disney College program again, filling out the application as poorly as I could. When it came to my work experience, I said that I worked at Starbucks for about a year or so. And when it asked for my job description, I just said, served coffee. Do you see a keyword in that? Because I don't. Perhaps served could be a keyword. Maybe it's coffee, who knows. But I just had one job. And for the roles, I said high interest in a lot of the roles, which might have been very helpful on the application. I believe if you really want to get in and you don't really care about your role, put high interest in those roles. Now what you are about to hear next will shock you. Now when I applied to the Disney College program, it was around 5 p.m. on January 23rd, the day after the applications opened. Probably finished my application at around 5.30. At around 5.45 p.m. today, very quickly, about 15-20 minutes after I applied, I got an email saying thank you for applying. Basically all the email is saying is that they have received your application, they appreciate you for applying, please do not apply again and we will let you know if you get accepted or not. Check my inbox, 547, two minutes after that email was sent, I get another email. Dear Shane, thank you again for your interest in the Disney College program. Based on the information you provided in your application, you have been selected to participate in an initial interview, aka the web-based interview. That is right, I will be doing the Disney College program next. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Based on my application, I got a web-based interview. You know what was not on my application? Keywords. I did not have any of the four keys in my work experience. I did not have any of the qualifications of a Disney role in my work experience. And that, my friends, is why I think the keywords is a myth. I think it really has to do with the roles, the amount of roles you rank and the amount of roles you put high interest. Now if you truly don't want to do a role, don't put interest in it, don't put yourself at that risk. Because as long as you put any interest in a role, you may get that role, unless you put no interest. Don't stress about the number of jobs you had before the Disney College program, everybody comes from different backgrounds and different work experience. Well, that about wraps up this video. I hope this video was able to help you in any way, shape, or form when applying to the Disney College program or getting ready to start your DCP. Maybe I'll do more of these videos. Probably not though. This will probably be my only video like this. I'd rather make videos that have original content, but I just thought this would be a really fun video to make. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications. That way you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys next time.